Hi guys, it is me. <laughs> I was going to say it's Monica. I have no idea why I always start that way. I keep saying everyone who's watching knows it's me, I think. But anyways, I thought I would update you on a little bit of, you know, what my, what, what's going on and also talk about some of my trash, some of my favorites and some of my real surprises that they ended up being favorites. So that's what this video is really all about. If you're interested in seeing what I've used up and not that I have a lot because I end up trashing my trash before I get to the point of doing a trash video. For some reason I can never remember to save my empties. But I did want to talk to you about some favorites and some surprises, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. But before I go there, I also want to address a couple of other things. I've had three topic requests by a number of you. One is an update on my skincare morning routine, and the other one is an update on my skincare nighttime routine. And I think because it's winter time and it is like so, so super dry in my house, you've heard me talk about that before, I've had to change my routine. So I am going to do a video probably exclusive to my morning routine, what's different, what's the same, and then also one for my evening routine. And the other video that I've had requested, which some of you may or may not be interested in is my diet. Now I'm not ready for an update on my diet yet per se, but I've had a request on a little bit more detail on what I'm doing, what I'm consuming, you know, what is my caloric intake look like because I'm counting carbs and counting calories. So what does that look like specifically? What do I do for snacks, etc.? So these are videos that are requested. I'm going to try to get all of them done today. And then I'm going to, I'm not too sure if I'm going to upload them once a week. I, I really don't know. I've been super, super busy at work and it's been more difficult for me to film a video when I've been torn between work, my parents, my family, dealing with some issues, etc. So I thought, um, I thought, you know, just to let you know, because I've had people reach out to me and say, hey, I haven't seen a video in a few days. So I think what I'm probably going to do, at least until we get to the beginning of the year, is maybe go maybe once a week. We'll see. Uh, I don't really know yet for sure. It really all depends. So Anyways, because I don't save my trash as much as I should, I don't have a whole lot of empty containers. I just toss my trash, you know, I just really do. I don't have a whole lot of empty containers. But I do have some new products that I'm really, really liking. And then I've had a couple of people ask where I've gotten, like for example, the first thing I'll mention is this, I consider it like a shawl but some people consider it a scarf. Now I've worn this in many of my Instagram videos. So if you watch me on Instagram, oh, I just dumped stuff. If you watch me on Instagram, you probably have seen me wear this. This, I love these colors and I hope that the camera picks them up. They are gray, there's a little bit of blue in there, there's actually a little bit of like an orange stripe in there, but there's mauve and pinks. There's so many beautiful colors in here that I absolutely love this. I And I'll link this if, they, if I can find it on the website, but I got this in Target. And I went in one day and I just saw it and I fell in love with the colors, with the quality of it. It's not super, super, you know, like some are really heavy, heavy that you feel choked in. This is just light enough that it's also warm. It keeps my shoulders warm. I wear it a lot during the day. I wear it often. So if you watch my Instagram stories, you've seen this. And so that's the answer to that question. I got that at Target. The other thing I'm gonna mention, and I'm going to show you a couple of clips of the top I'm wearing. I'll probably insert them, but I just wanted to mention this really quick because I received this top. This was gifted to me by S-I-M-P-L-I-C-I-T-I-E. Simplicity, and this is a, a, a line, a clothing line that's made in the USA, and it really focuses on simplicity, comfort, and style. And they want to keep everything the best possible prices. I actually have a, a coupon for you that I'm going to insert. 
20% off on their website. I'm going to link their website, but they sent me this top. So when I got this top, just let me tell you, and I'm going to show you a, a full shot. I'm going to probably do a side by side so you can see what it looks like on me. It said on the website that this was true to size. And, um, and so I ordered an extra large because I, I'm a broad shouldered, big busted, big hipped woman. You know, I am curvy in that sense. So I'm not thin, I'm not petite. And I figured an extra large would be fine. So I also happen to like my clothing to be loose and flowing. I don't like clothing that are super tight on me. I don't like crop tops because I don't have a pretty belly to show. I don't want to have anything tight to accentuate my chest area because I'm more comfortable hiding them than displaying them, if that makes sense. So anyways, they sent me this, it came in a little box, a little um, bag, and I looked at it when I first shook it out. It was kind of pretty wrinkled, and I'm like going, oh, you know. But I always, and I don't know about you guys, I always wash my clothes before I wear them. So anyways, it said hand wash. And so normally I would put it in my gentle cycle in my machine, even when it says hand wash, but it had something soaking in there. So what I did is I did hand wash it. I put it in my sink. And because I put it in my sink, I let it soak and I just gently, because I figured it wasn't all that dirty, but I just kind of gently washed it a little bit and then I let it soak. And then I went back into my bathroom about an hour or so later to drain it. And I was totally shocked because normally, and this was a big fear when I started it, normally, I don't know about you guys, but normally like anything bright in colors has a little bit of a bleeding in the laundry. So I expected to see my water be purplish or bluish and it wasn't. It was clear. So I was totally impressed with that. So I took it out, I shook it up and I let it just air dry on a hanger. And it, the wrinkles came out. It flows really wonderful on me. It is the perfect top for me. Now, when I saw this on the Octoly Network and I went to select a few, I selected a couple of different colors, a couple of different styles. This is the one I got approved for. And to be honest with you, it could not have been more perfect for me than if I went in the store and bought it. Because it's flowy, it's it's long enough to cover my hips, it's long, covers my rear end, and I absolutely love it. So, love it. so this has been completely made in, in their Los Angeles factory. It's not outsourced at all. They have many different styles that you can actually look at on their website. And, uh, and it's made, I mean, it's just really, really made well. It is a lighter, material it's not heavy so for me here in new england this the, i would need to have a sweater or a shawl which i wear in fact this one actually goes perfect with it so if i were to go to work and i was going to wear this i would probably have this wrapped around like this i just would i would have this wrapped around like this so um but in the summertime when you want something light and airy uh, I, this would totally, especially after it got dark a little bit, this would totally, totally work for me for a summer, spring, fall top without having to have anything on top of it. In the winter, I would need a wrap or something because of the material, but I am loving it. So I'm going to link all their information below in the coupon code. I was super excited to get this. I just thought it was really, I thought it was really nice. I really, really liked it. So. That was a, something that was gifted to me. It was totally surprised and it's not sponsored in any way by any of these products, these things that I have requested and was sent and loved. The other thing, I'll just mention it right now, is my hairdo. Um, this is my Henry Margu Hayden wig and I've worn this in a number of videos. I've, I've worn this in many different ways. Like right now I have it like up. It is a lace front and I, I'll tell you, probably out of all the wigs, and you may disagree with me and everyone has their own opinion, but probably of all the wigs I've ever been sent, this is my absolute favorite style. And I think having the monofilament that I can part this anywhere on the top and the lace front, I think is gonna spoil me for any other type of a cap, to be honest with you. This is so comfortable. And it stays put, 
and I, you know, I really like it a lot. And most people, unless they see me every day, most people have no idea. You know, they just might think, wow, you know, she's got a nice full head of hair or something. I don't know. But unless they really know me well, they might pick up that I have a wig. I do wish, my only regret on this is that I wish I'd gotten a color, uh, a shade darker. A little bit closer to my natural hair color but I this was a super super surprise I absolutely love it so now getting on to some other products that I bought I have mentioned the number seven lift and illuminate foundation as being my favorite foundation that I have so far in all of the products that I have received my boxy charm it cosmetics all of the products that have ever sent to me this is my absolute favorite foundation so for a while there i couldn't get the lift and illuminate it had gone off the shelves and then i think i talked about how i went back into walgreens and i saw it back on the shelves but it was a little bit different lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation so i use this every day i mean in the summertime i'm going to have to be more proactive on my you know my SPF, but I use this like every single day and love it. So I bought some more and I still have the color wheat. I absolutely love it. I was sent from, un I think it's, I don't use my little magnifying. I was sent from Unfoundation Glow Tint, the Unfoundation Glow Tint. And I had done this, um, a review on this in from Octoly as well. And I said at the time this was really hard. It had super, super stay staying power, staying power, but it's really hard to spread. So what I've been doing is I have been mixing it with my Lift and Luminate and this on my hand, pushing it together, and then taking a beauty blender and just, you know, sponging it into my face. Th this I think is the nuts as far as staying power. This will keep my Lift and Luminate in place. Even if I don't use any kind of a setting powder or anything like that, it really, really keeps it in place. So I'm really liking that a lot. I, um, I buy the number seven. I will definitely, when this is gone, the unfoundation, I will buy that again. The other thing that was a surprise to me was my Pure, P-U-R, this is one point, and this is their eyeliner that has the self-sharpening. This is something I had requested from Octoly as well, and then was approved, and they actually sent me a number of these. And this one is almost all gone. I wear this one every single day. It's a brown, and I can't sharpen the point anymore because there's, so there's nothing left for me to sharpen at all on this. I absolutely love this eyeliner from Pure, P-U-R, and this was sent to me a while ago. I've used it. I've actually bought more of their eyeliners and more of their products in Ulta, so I really love it. The other one that I love is my Urban Decay. Now, you can see this is really tiny. I love the Urban Decay. I've got a replacement in brown. This is in black. I use this kind of just for my waterline, but I absolutely love that. Now, on the Urban Decay, you have to have a sharpener. I much prefer to not have a sharpener, so if I had to choose which of these two more convenient for me is the Pure because I don't need a sharpener. It has that little twist and you self-sharpen. The surprise, surprise, surprise to me was the Essence Color Correcting Oh gosh, I don't know when I bought this, but this is in the pink or peach. And I think I bought this after I had done the Sephora class. I had taken a Sephora class and they were talking about color correcting and contouring and all that. So when I, when I, when they dabbed it onto me, I couldn't believe how bright it made my eyes look. And so I really like this. I buy this. This is my second go around with this and I really, really like it. Two other eye products that I love is my Scandal Eyes. This is how much I have left of this. And <laughs> these are really hard to find. You might have to get them on the internet. But this is in Prohibition Pink. I absolutely love it. It just gives me that little bit of glitter, a little bit of glow in my eyes that makes it perfect for me. And the other one is, this is the L'Oreal Infallible. And this is the Iced. Latte 888. I've had this for a number of years and I do the same thing. When I say a number of years, literally I think I've been using this for three years. And I still have 
a good amount in there but I have I'm getting close to have a hip pan in the middle of it so I still have the sides but this is a repeat for me I'm definitely gonna buy this again I love this color it just gives me enough of a glow inside my eyes it's perfect for me in that sense for my blush I have been using the Milani romantic rose I really like this this is a nice light it's just a nice light it gives you just a little bit for me anyways it just gives me a little bit of a sun-kissed look I really like it the other and this is a bronzer I believe but I've been using it sort of as a little bit of a blush or a contour and this is the Maui Nights I love the Becca Maui Nights alone it's too dark for me I have to go very 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 lightly with my brush and if I use it and I just kind of dust my face with it it just gives me that kind of a, a glow I, I almost feel like I'm in Maui which I know I'm really not so another surprise blow pro now I had done a review on this oh, blow pro I had done a review on this I had talked about the fact that I was supposed to have gotten the blow dryer and they sent me by mistake the blow pro and a number of you said Monica no use the flat iron it'll do a really good beachy wave look so I'm going to start a couple of insta clips that I did on insta stories when I use this on my hair my my real hair so as you can see by these clips that I'm inserting here, it gave me a really nice wavy beachy look. And I never would have pegged that a flat iron would have done that. So surprise, surprise, this has become my all time go to it tool in the morning. I love the fact that it's got a little, it goes around here. So, you know, the, uh, the cord moves around. So you're not having to wrap the cord around anything. It's a really long cord so I can reach. I love, love, love this tool. This was sent to me by mistake for a review because I was supposed to get the blow dryer. But, you know, lo and behold, I got the blow dryer. So the other day in the mail came the blow dryer and I was like really shocked because I didn't think that I would get the blow dryer after they sent me the flat iron. So the blow dryer, let me tell you, lovely long cord. This feels awesome in the hand. Since I've got this, I've used it every time I've washed my hair. I, if you can fall in love with a blow dryer, I've fallen in love. This feels so good. The temperature settings are awesome. There were three temp temperature settings. You had a little cool button here. This isn't, and my hair dries so much faster. This really, really is awesome. This was from Blow Pro, and this is their pink edition. Of course, I love pink. And this was sent to me via the Octoly Network from GlowPro in exchange for my honest opinion. And I will tell you, my honest opinion, I love this. And I love the flat iron. And I love the wave maker. So I have three products from GlowPro, and I love all three. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sending me that. And this was another surprise. So Pure Cosmetics have this mascara and primer and it's like two it's a set I think they're like $18 and I'll link that below if you, you buy two of them so I requested this for review and I got accepted and I was really thrilled about getting accepted so I have been using this now this is called fully charged and together they recommend that you do two coats of the primer on your upper and your lower and then you let it dry and then you come in with the mascara you do two coats on your upper and your lower I just did the primers on my upper I never use a primer on my lower but I always use a primer on my lashes I believe it helps my lashes a lot to use that primer so I I'm telling you I have it on today I don't know if you can tell but I've used this since I received it I think it came in I've had it over a week now. I've used this every day. I absolutely love it. Let me show you what the wand looks like for those people that are wand fanatics. It is a really, really nice wand. I love the wand. And the mascara. Really nice. Now, I did do two, two coats on my uppers. 
but I didn't do on my lowers at all. I just did one coat of the mascara on my lowers. I didn't do any primer on my lowers. I absolutely love it on my lowers, so it was really, really good. Again, that was sent to me from Pure Cosmetics, and I really love it. It is something that, especially where you have, I use a primer all the time. I use the L'Oreal primer. I've used Lancome primer. This primer is really awesome. I, I, I use it, and I like it a lot. I would buy for $18 to have the set, the mascara, and the primer. I think that's a good deal. It really is to have that quality. I love it, and I will buy it again. So, yeah, I know this video is getting really long. There's a couple of other things I know I want to mention. One is I use soft soap in the shower. Most of the time I just buy, you know, whatever uh, soft soap I can find that's on sale. But I love, love, love the sugar scrub, the blackberry sugar scrub. This is probably the, I don't know, third bottle of this that I'm going through. But because this is a sugar scrub, I only use it on my body. I don't use it down below. But I do use a sweet spot. Now, I did not even know this product existed until Tammy mentioned it in one of her videos. Tammy. Oh, she just changed her name, her channel name. I was going to say Epi's Beats. But anyway, she mentioned the sweet spot. I'll link her channel, obviously. You all know who she is. She's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady. And um, she mentioned this. And I said, wow, you know, it kind of makes sense. So I went and I ordered this off Amazon. And then I also have picked it up at Target. I picked it up a number of times. I love, love, love this. It's a vanilla blossom. It's just really nice. It's refreshing and it feels so soothing and so good. So I use the sugar scrub everywhere else and down on my private area, I use the sweet spots. I really like using the sweet spot cleanser and I also use the wipes. I love the wipes. The other thing, I bought these from Global Beauty Care and these are cucumber and I love these. These are actually under eye pads, cucumbers. So if you wake up and you have like bag eyes, baggy eyes, and you couldn't sleep and this and that, these will make a big difference for you. I bought these at TJ Maxx, $3.99, and they're five pairs. I have one left. I love them. I have bought these a couple of times. Now, when I was last in TJ Maxx, I didn't see it. I'm sure they'll come back again. But if you like cucumber and you want to have the soothing under eye pads, these are fabulous. You can't beat the price, so I'm really liking that. So, you know, there's probably a whole bunch of other things that I wanted to talk about. Like, I bought some more marula oil from The Ordinary because I finished my marula oil. I bought another CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. I use this a lot. I absolutely love it. The Skin Diva Hydrating Anti-Aging Infusion Spray. Oh my gosh. I, I, you know, this comes on really strong, so I just push it in my hands now. I just put it in my hands, spray it in my hands, and tap it on. I love that stuff. That is a repeat purchase for me. Absolutely love, love, love that stuff. So I think I'm going to shut this video off now. It's like super long. Thank you for watching. If you have watched, now I have a surprise giveaway for you. I am going to give away three bottles of the Blink Eyelash Serums to not just one of you, but to two of you. So all you have to do in the comments below is say, I want to try the Blink. I am loving the Blink Eyelash Serum. And I am really, you know, blessed that they sent me a bunch of extra so that I could do the giveaway. So if you're interested in trying the Eyelash Serum, the Blink Eyelash Serum, you know, leave a comment below that you want to try it. I'm going to let this run. I'm not going to respond to the comments because of the giveaway because I do use randompicker.com. And, um, and then I'm going to let this run for a week and then I will pick two lucky winners that will each get three bottles of the Blink Eyelash Serum. I love that stuff. So thank you so much, guys, for staying with me. I know it's long. Hopefully it's worth it for you. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please, you know, leave me questions on another video and I'll get back to you for sure. And if you have any, any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Thank you. Bye, guys.